I, I don't know that stings. It's just I disagree with them. If you disagree with their orthodoxy, then you get into trouble. I mean, look at COVID. I've disagreed with most of the COVID shit. I was right about all of it, but you were you right about trouble. all of it. Yeah. What were you right about that everybody said? I said it. I said this affects this affects the elderly and it affects sick people, but it doesn't really do anything to kids or young people, which it doesn't. I've complained against. But about isn't the mass. there? Are there young people and kids that have gotten incredibly yeah. ill from it? Yeah, but so. that doesn't mean we need to shut society down. Not so really you were against just the totally the, the shutdown, shutting down schools, for instance. I was against. It doesn't really affect kids, right? So now the the argument of like, well, hasn't it affected some kids? Yeah, I'm, there's 19 year old boys who probably got prostate cancer or something at some point, but doesn't mean we build the protocol around. Okay, I'm gonna have an argument right now. Go. Ahead. She's she's a lot more woke. Than she's, <laughs> yeah. she's the woke. No, but even if it doesn't affect kids, I'm not arguing with your thought process. And I think you're right. For the most part, it doesn't affect kids and people who are healthy. Yeah. But if they have a sibling or a parent or a grandparent or whatever at home that they're taking care of, isn't it our responsibility before we have treatment or before we have a vaccine or before any of that when it's brand new and it is affecting people to kind of look out for one another? Yeah, except for... This fallacy of like, we live with our elderly grandparents or we live, this isn't Italy from 1941. <laughs> I, I have elderly parents. I don't live with them. I don't know anyone who lives with their elderly parents or elderly so grandparents. Did you keep your, but here's what I'm did saying. Did you keep your kids away from did, your parents? They don't even like my grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> that was done and done. That's called a tacit. That's called so you were trying to get them over. You were trying to push them over there. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, is these are these scenarios uh -huh. where okay, it doesn't affect the kids, but what if the kid gets infected and then they visit Nana or Pappy and then they get them? That's all a possibility, but mm -hmm. you can't build a protocol around this possibility. Like you, that's not a reason to shut schools down. See, That's I'm, a reason for you to go, you can't visit your grandparents or you have to making sense. do it with a mask or from the different different side of the living room. Yeah. I mean, my fear has always been, you know, passing it on or giving it to my dad or my mom or going and visiting my grandparents in Canada. That's always been my fear. So. I wasn't well, allowed to see her or the kids for a that year. That was the plan. The plan was to scare the shit out of everybody. Yeah. I mean, I'm always scared. Anyways, so. your wife is your wife on the same page as you? <laughs> sort of, kind of, maybe. Is that nobody, a no? Was, nobody was on the same page as me. You live I, in I California. Like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> they tried to shut down the horse trails around my house. They were shutting down the beaches. I was like, fuck this, immediately really? and immediately. So if you're well, if, so here's how I knew what was uh -huh. going on. They weren't giving the ages of people who died. That was the big problem. That's what caught me originally. They weren't telling us how old the people who died were. They were just saying a man in Arlita died of, of COVID. But they well, we did know, we, but we all knew that the, the majority of deaths were overweight, unhealthy, elderly people. That's well, not a secret. But the majority no. of Americans have underlying health issues. It was the secret. Here's what they did in, in my estimation, although... The statistics bore this out or bear this out. They they wouldn't initially tell us it was basically people in nursing homes that were dying. They didn't initially do that. Isn't they that what, but I, I beg to differ. Isn't that initially what they were doing? Because I, I remember the nursing homes, the first time we heard of it starting was, wasn't it in Seattle that like all these people were all dying? Nursing in, home, yeah. It was the nursing homes. Yeah, people were dying in nursing homes for sure. They, they died in, you know, vastly higher percentages in nursing homes because they're elderly and they were compromised. But they didn't really say this is what's happening. So they were simultaneously saying people are dying in nursing homes and shutting schools. My thing is, is if people are dying in nursing homes, you don't need to shut schools. They never needed to shut schools. I think it was the unknown at the beginning. Right? Yeah, at like the beginning, but they carried that into the like a year and a half into it. That's... That's, That's my right. argument. I think they were un, they were unduly scaring the population. They never really made a separation. Like that, the notion that like, 
well, it disproportionately affects the elderly. It's not even disproportionate. It's it's minuscule what it does to young people. Like they should have really hammered that home. Like, hey, if you're healthy and you're under 30, this thing's not going to touch you. It's just not going to affect you like it would affect an elderly person. And they never drove that home. Is that true, though? Are, are there not some healthy young people that have been... It statistically doesn't exist, like deaths for young people. See, we don't, we still don't really know this. It's no, not I don't. Something, I know of one. It's not something they're pushing out But do you there. know that they were healthy? I do know they were healthy. Well... I know the family. Yeah, it's one person. Yeah, we right. can't yeah. construct a society around one person. And that's, did, that's my argument. That's why I And did you get in me. trouble for this argument? Well, yeah, I told, I, I said, I said. I can do whatever I want. I'm deathly scared of flying, and I don't know anyone who's died in a plane. Yeah, well, that's. that's <laughs> but that's it, you're making his point. I know, I'm just saying, you, you're saying that you can't. Anyone could can be scared of anything. No, but, and there's but more yeah. reason. But his I point. I think there's more reason to be scared of an unknown illness that's affecting a nation, and there were a lot of deaths, proven deaths. Not with young people who are healthy. Okay. But but we did go have look a million. It up. Go look, you got a computer. But why do we have a million deaths? Over a million deaths. So we have a lot of old fat people. That we do. Well, look, but the, okay, but then don't computer. you have to take care of the rest of the US the US I, the, as a You majority, don't have to shut a school system down to take care of overweight elderly people. So you're no. only no, but he's making sense. Okay. Look up. All right. No, go. No, don't fight no, him. Fight no him. I'm not going to fight. Go We're ahead. on opposing ends of the spectrum here, and it's fine. And I really believe that point. everyone is in touch. My point was that is that I agree with you now. We pro we should not have closed schools for as long as we did. Yes. But I. Thing. He wasn't against closing schools at the beginning, right? It's just yes, you were. Much. Yes, yeah. he was. Right away, never for a moment. Oh well, I would have closed them for two weeks or something, but right. no, eventually. But it took quickly. us almost a year to get any kind of grasp on handling the situation, or getting a vaccine, or getting we, a we, treatment. No, I'm saying the powers that be had a grasp on this earlier than we did, and they did not inform us of this. That's that what I'm might saying. be so, but the people locally who had to make decisions who maybe didn't have the information that you're saying the powers that be had that didn't pass it along had to do with what they had to do with the information they had well look there's two disneylands there's one in florida there's one in california the yeah. one in california was closed the whole time the one in florida was open most of the time mm -hmm. they could have figured it out if the one in florida is doing okay maybe we could open the one in california but we wouldn't do it in california we wouldn't open schools. This schools is not my podcast, Dad. Go place. for it. I'm just going. To, I. I'm, but I'm going to interested. Disagree. I'm interested in the in the two <laughs> sides of this. I don't want to argue. A, I didn't want to come on here and argue with a guest. You're not arguing. You're <laughs> not really arguing. Okay. You're not. <laughs> and you're respectfully. You're respectfully. Sharing. I respect everyone's opinion. I really do. I just have a different opinion. Well, that's fine. But yeah. if your opinion is close the beach down, and my opinion is I want to go to the fucking beach, then I should go to the beach. That's I agree all I'm with saying. you. I agree but with you. But he wasn't allowed now. to. But I wasn't allowed to go to the beach. That's because at the what beginning, we didn't back. know. They, I, they never, and look, you're not an epidemiologist if you can't fucking figure out that going to the beach is not a bad place to go with a virus. That's insane. But I'm not an epidemiologist, no, and I was just people, going based on what I did know. You listen to people that uh -huh. shut the beaches down. I didn't listen to them. I right. knew they were wrong, and they were wrong. 